The first combination is in part one, the bronze category, and it's awarded to the project Housing for West Silvertown to a student from the University of East London, Mark Smith. We were, we were studying an area of East London called West Silvertown. It, it was an interesting area for us because it's, it's a, re a real area in flux at the moment. There's, there's kind of these pockets of industry, pockets of housing, these huge sites which developers are planning to plough a lot of money into and develop. And, and, and some of the things that are happening there now we felt was maybe a little bit unsensitive and maybe not very sustainable to the future of, of London. What I wanted to pursue in sustainability was the idea that you could make buildings which, and uh, develop schemes which wouldn't become obsolete in the next 20 years, which wouldn't have to be torn down and rebuilt because of the need for more housing or, or, or a different kind of thing in that area. But the idea was to, f to fill in the, the pockets in West Silvertown with, with development that would uh, create community in the area and, and help to develop a, a, a range of uses rather than London saying we, we need housing in the east and, and taking up these huge sites and, uh, and putting on a, a lot of mass housing. The, the problem in the area at the moment, there's no community, no one walks the streets, uh, there's nowhere to shop, uh, uh, and we wanted to kind of address those things with, with buildings which would be useful for the future generations, not just for us. To really get to grips with, with the real issues and the bodies uh, and the influences that are going on in the East End was, was really interesting and it's really helpful to me now. The RBA called me on a Saturday morning and, and told me that I, I, something good had happened, but they wouldn't tell me what until Monday morning, so they left me hanging. They didn't tell me. Yeah, to get some recognition for, for my project really means a lot to me. It means a lot for my confidence, and especially for a school like the University of East London, because we don't get so much recognition as the other bigger schools. And, and you know, I was really lucky to get a place there, and I, I hope this goes some way towards paying back.